Welcome, Agile friends. Uh, my name is Dave Simpson, and we're here with our amazing speaker, Andy Clef. So, welcome, Andy. Uh, in this session, we'll be learning about doing no better. Uh, there are also some other sessions in the Product Owner Summit 2023 that touch on this topic, so don't miss those. For example, uh, Jamie Edwards has a session on sustainable collaboration. And so not, not on this topic of doing no better, but this is under the topics of uh, tools and tricks uh, that are good for and practices that every product owner should know. Uh, so check out those sessions out at uh, productownersummit.org. Uh, but now it's time to focus on our guest speaker and our topic for this session. So Andy, uh, starting with the basics, we all hear no, we say no, there's times we should say no and we don't. So how do we do that better? Ah, good question. We, we build up our repertoire we build up our tools and we under unpack the reasons why we say yes when we really want to say no. I I have a suspicion, and I and I want to post a question to you, Dave, as well as to the listeners. Do you feel that you, your your team, your systems can be doing better than you're currently doing? In, in better, higher performance, right? Um, leading up to this, you and I had a had a brief email exchange where you talked about your last week. And for yes. the rest of the, of the audience, you know, did your did yesterday, this morning, last week, the last iteration get away from you? Think about that. Uh, there's I can see a lot of virtual heads nodding in my imagination. <laughs> and yes. and I propose it's a simple but really I don't want to say complicated, not easy solution. And if we learn to do no better, you're, you're right on the path. And I, I want to encourage all of you to do some data gathering. I use this technique in retrospectives at a team letter level, at a, a leadership level. So grab some paper and pencil, or if you like, sticky notes and, and Sharpie, whatever you like. You're all Agilists. You got pads of sticky notes and Sharpies. Write down the following, yeah, get five notes, and I want you to write down the five thieves of time that come out of Dominica de Grandis's wonderful book, Making Work Visible. You going to play along, Dave? I'll play along. Too much work in progress. Unplanned work. Conflicting priorities. Neglected work. And external dependencies. Now, if you stack rank these, you'll see something. Um, if you don't have data in your mind, just put them on your, your monitor for a week and put hash marks anytime you experience one of these. And every single one of these bandits point to a common issue. We say yes, we let them in when we should say no. And, and as you get this data, like any data, you can look at it and you can keep doing the same thing. You don't have to change. You know? <laughs> you, status quo is fine, but think about it. How much fun is that for you, your teams? How much engagement is sacrificed? But if, if you could reduce any one or all of these every day by a simple word or simple construct, what if you could make a 1% improvement every day for 365 days. If you break out your financial calculator, think about the compound interest. 1% every day of the year. It's not a 2X, it's not a 10X, it's almost 37%, 37X improvement just by saying no. And just by saying no, you create that ability to focus, to say hell yes to what's most important. You've, we've all heard the expression, when everything is important, nothing is. So, you know, the majority of the people here are product owners. When's the last time you had a conversation with your key stakeholders? What is really important to them? Not, not outputs, not the number of story points you did last sprint, but in terms of measurable business outcomes that they care about. Pick your time horizons this sprint, this quarter, this year. From one of the models we use, Path to Agility, 
Um, we had